All right, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I got a quick video for you here. Just wanted to kind of share some printing experience stuff. So I was printing this head and uh, it was less than a roll of filament, but it somehow ran out this far in. And it's, I mean, it's a full roll of filament right here. It's chunky. Um, looks like it was over extruding. I actually turned the extrusion down at one point, but um, why did it get all messy and weird? You know, you know, this printer's been doing really good. It's been making some nice prints. Well, I think I might have figured it out. So, ran out of filament, right? Let's uh, let's take this here, and we'll. Uh, and we've already got it warmed up. Sorry, I'm gonna try to do this one slash two handed. So, I push through and. What is that? Look at that. <laughs> so, hold on. I'll see if... Yeah. That's not... That's not right. <laughs> so, essentially, if you can see, that nozzle has wallered completely out to 175. So that nozzle is, instead of a 0.6, is a 1.75 now. Um, interesting. I haven't had a nozzle uh, do that before. This was the filament I was running before, this Polymaker. And I've been running it exclusively on, on these two printers. This one's printing over here. Maybe that's also the reason with this one. Is it semi wallered out? I'm not sure exactly. But um, this filament does create a lot of dust. I did a video on this, but I didn't end up posting it. Um, this red filament makes this like orange dust. And I have no idea what that dust is, but it's definitely probably in my lungs a little bit. But it, it coats the heck out of the fan and, you know, the whole under part of that thing. It's like this printer's been eating Cheez-Its or something or, or Cheetos. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to swap the nozzle out and we'll get it back to producing. I'll see how long this next one uh, will last. I'm hoping more than uh, 510 prints. But uh, really weird that... It hollowed out a brass nozzle on PETG. I, I just did not expect that. Interesting, guys. Thanks.